Today on Zoom, Yubba Wubba Gubba Tubbing, Bubba Rubby Slubba Pubby. I have to pay them, and I pay that off that bill, with the money I get from the customers, and then the rest of the money is mine. Blowing. Until you run out of breath. Green. Oh. Mean. Bean. Zoom is provided by the National Science Foundation, America's Investment in the Future, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. called Rhyme Time. To play, sit in a circle and start a beat. One person starts off by calling out a word. The player next to him has to say a word that rhymes with it. Keep going around the circle. When someone gets off beat or can't think of a word or repeats a word, they're out. When someone gets out, the player next to him has to start off with a new word. All right, ready guys? Yeah. Let's go. All right, you start going. Okay. Start beat. All right. Hat. Bat, bat, mat, pat, bat, bat, pat, mat, flat. Oh, I said, I said, sorry, oh, it's okay. <laughs> what? So it's okay. Yeah, yeah. That's why you yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why you said it. That's why you said it. That's why you No, but I did it. Good job. Okay, ready to set. Blue. Shoe. Shoe. Blue. You. Al Kazoo. Al Kazoo. You know, isn't that like an instrument? It's a kazoo. Kazoo. Well, you know, just take the owl out. Okay, um, let me think of a word. Can I always take some good ones? Okay. Door. 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 Store. Ah, oh, that's nice. More. No, store. Nor. What's the nor? Yeah, nor. Neither nor. I'm going to have that nor that. Hold on. You know? but I think you said door. I, I said store. Store. Oh, I said toy. Toy? What's a toy? Oh, yeah. Like a toy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. And you can yeah. Yeah. Right, keep going. So it's oh, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Four. 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 I said that. I said that. Oh, does that count, though? Because it's a new little round. No, no, no. no. Where's <laughs> that? Do I start or did he start? I start. He starts. Okay, if I start. Green. Oh. Mean. 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 Green. Mean. Bean. Bean. Oh. Ha! You could have done that one. Do I say I did Kenny? Jelly. Um, I start. Okay. 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 Ready, set, it. go. Map. Lap. Zap. What? Zap. What? 
that? That is it's I think I've heard that before. Oh, that means you're out. Oh. <laughs> That's not that a word. Yes, it is. Okay. A word. I right. come up. I start. You two. You start right. Go. One. Fun. Fun. One. What? As I said, two one. Side, there's two sides to like one. I won. Oh. And one. one. Ready, set, go. Run. None. Fun. I said that. Oh. Wait, you can say none again. Or not again. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? I think I'd go to Florida because I've heard it's really pretty there and that's where I was born. I would go to Australia because there are so many animals and I love animals. I would go to, Sp go to Paris, France because I've heard a lot of neat things about it. I would like to see the Eiffel Tower and the painting of the Mona Lisa. I would want to go back to India because I was born there. I think I would go to Europe. I would go to outer space. I would go to Korea because I want to know more about um, my nationality. I'd go to Texas, I would buy my own horse, and I would look for a treasure. If I can go anywhere in the world, it would be back home to Ethiopia because I have a lot of family there and a lot of uh, good culture, and I would really like to learn about it and be with my family. <laughs> Cafe Zoom. Jennifer Kay of Clinton, Iowa, sent us this recipe for no-bake cheesecake. Here's what you'll need. Cream cheese at room temperature, lemon juice, vanilla, sweetened condensed milk, and one store-bought graham cracker pie crust. In a blender, put eight ounces of cream cheese. I like cream cheese. That's a kind of funny texture, but And then, let's see. One can of sweet and condensed milk. It's just like milk, except the water is taken out of it, and it's sweetened. It tastes kind of like frosting. It's less, it's a can, though. It's gonna, it's gonna, wherever you are. Ugh. That's all. One third a cup of lemon juice. And one teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla has a great smell to it. Put the cap on the blender and make sure it's shut tight so nothing splatters out of it. Because if it's not completely stopped, then it might splatter. Yes, that's stopped. Pour it into the pie crust. You might want to have a spatula to help you get it all out. It's kind of hard to get out. So, now it's coming out pretty easily, though. Ah, there it is. Hello, cheesecake. Or almost cheesecake. I think that's all we need to get out. Oh, this bump fell up. You can smooth it out with a spatula. Ooh, so it looks nice and smooth. You wonder how it gets firm in the refrigerator without baking it. some cheesecakes that I made earlier. You can add strawberries on top like this one for a strawberry cheesecake, or you can mix in chocolate for a marble cheesecake like this one. You can mix it in on the top, right when you're done blending it together. But I'm going to try these now. It's really good. I love chocolate. And this looks like... Whoa! <laughs> this looks like a great piece of cheesecake. 
Ooh, throwing up a peep. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's really good cheesecake. Invent your own no-baked cheesecake recipes, and then send them to Zoom. And for a copy of this no-baked cheesecake recipe, you can check out the Cafe Zoom section of the Zoom website. If you don't have a computer at home, you can probably use one at your school or local library. Tubu dubby, am I double grubbage? I'm a rubby double rubby, I'm a tubbish. I will never pop a cub rubber lubbine, I'm a double dubby. Mubbish double rubby, I'm a trubbish. Wabbage, I'm a double dubby, I'm a double mubbage. Wabbook, dubby pop and tubble rubby, I'm a double 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 rubby. Yabber up I love it, Dabber Gabba Tubbing, Rubber Rubby Hubba Bubby. Yabber Hubba Bubba Tubby, Bubbles Ubba's Rubber Lubbox, Ubba Nubba's Hubba Bubby, Ubba's Hubba Stubble. Ubba Nubba Cubba Bubba Quabbits, Rubba Tubbin, Tubba Wubbin. Wubba Nubba Gubba Tubba Wubbin, Yabba Wubba Bubby Yabba Nubba Dubby, Dubby, Trump Heads. Tubbin, Dubbin, Abbey, Subbin, Subbin. Chris Q of Jacksonville, Florida, nominated Chris O for today's Zuma Kamade. Chris volunteers for a group called Habitat for Humanity. Habitat for Humanity helps build houses for families in need. Chris gave drinks to volunteers, helped out on a landscaping project, and built a bench. Way to go, Chris. You'll be receiving your Zuma Kamada certificate in the mail. and I'm a newspaper boy. I deliver the Norwalk Hour seven days a week. And Saturdays and Sundays is a morning paper. Time to go. The biggest paper in the week is Saturday's paper because that has an instant inside it. When I get ready to go do my papers, I get my papers, I count them. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. And then, like, I put in the inserts inside. Since the papers are too heavy for the bag, I have to make a few trips. So I, like, go do some of my papers around my house. Then I come back, grab some more, and then go do more. I get the papers from the hour. I have to pay them, like, a little bill that they give me. And I pay that off that bill, the money I get from the customers, and then the rest of the money is mine. Let's get going. Sometimes I think about, like, how many papers I have left, so, like, I know how much I have left to do and how much I did already. Paper number six, quarter of the way done. I have around 24 papers, so that means that six papers are a quarter, and um, 12 papers are half, and 18 papers are three quarters, and 24 would be done. Um, sometimes I count my footsteps. I just thought about it one day, and I counted my footsteps, and it, it came out to um, 1,800, and 76 footsteps. Uh, what I like about having my own job is like it gives me a good feeling to know that I can earn the money. Some kids just like get their allowance every week and just by getting it you're not learning to work for your money. I get like a feeling to be proud of from knowing that I can earn the money and I can save up for what I want.
I think the people like the work that I do because I get the paper on time to their house. Good morning. Good morning. Even in the hard weathers and stuff, I get it to everyone's house. I get a like a happy feeling because I know that everyone thinks that I'm doing okay. Remember when Jessica, Elisa, Ray, and I made an invention that used two wire coat hangers to move a water balloon from one table to another? What do you do? I don't see. Do um, if we stuck that through there and then bent it up. Yeah. Yeah, like that? yeah so it's cool. a lock. Put it up there. Up, up. Go. Did it work? Yep. Did it. Woohoo! Well, kids from the Choate Summer School in Wallingford, Connecticut, made their own inventions to move a water balloon a distance of 10 feet. Toby B. and Matt T. take two plastic salad bowls together so they look like a mouse. Then they pass the balloon from bowl to bowl. Allison B., Brooke C., and Connie Y. pass the water balloon between two bathroom plungers. And Bronson F. and Brian C. invented a water balloon trolley using a string, tape, and a cooking pot. They taped the balloon inside the pot, put the string through the pot handle, and then held the string so the pot slid from one table to the next. All the kids thought they needed careful planning and cooperation to make their designs work. Try making your own invention, and if you come up with something really cool, send your design to Zoom. I want you to talk about if you've ever had a bad day. Kaya B, Prior Lake, Minnesota. I had a bad day once. That, that was when I moved. Because, like, all my friends are going to be left there. And that's just when my friend, he just moved across the street. My best friend. And I used to have to go all the way to his house. And he just moved across the street the same day I moved. Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> so I, I just got to play catch with him. And then I had to leave. And I told him to say goodbye to all my other friends. What'd you do? I just got over it. When I came here, I just made some new friends. And I was happy. And Did you move a far distance? A whole state away. Wow. I always have bad days of, um, like, the last day of school. No. Oh, good day. Good no, day. A lot, a lot of people are good days, but to me, they're bad days because a lot of my friends, they, like, go away or they go to summer houses somewhere far away. And I usually don't get to see anybody over the summer except, you know, a couple of people. And so it's really, really sad. Well, I that's it. when I wake up in the morning, and if I wake up late and I feel like I'm having a bad hair day and I can't think of anything to wear, I just set my mind, okay, today's going to be a bad day. And then anything yeah. that comes, I kind of blow it out of proportion. I'm like, that wasn't supposed to happen. That made it a bad day. Yeah. And then it kind of builds up. But in the morning, if I wake up and I'm thinking I'm going to have a good day, like I say, okay, I'm going to have a good day today. Then everything, I look at the bright side of everything. So sometimes yeah. you can force yourself into a I bad day. I can tell when I'm going to have a bad day or not. But I can't, I can't, I can't change the way I feel about it. Yeah. But the way I just, I get out of like a bad day, and I can't sound kind of stupid, but I look at smiley faces. <laughs> I don't I don't like to be around people when I'm in a bad mood because I don't want to get other people in a bad mood. When I'm in a bad mood, I prefer to be with people because, I don't know, I just like people to share my mood because I usually don't have bad days, but when I do, you know, I usually have people who are right there with me having a bad day right along with me and we just sit there complaining about our bad days. <laughs> We got an email from Rebecca G. of Parsippany, New Jersey. She sent us the instructions for an invention that can measure how much air you hold in your lungs. She called it the lung capacity machine. We thought it would be cool to build it and see who has more air in their lungs. Okay, here's how you make a lung capacity machine. Fill a gallon jug with 16 cups of water. Then take a tube and put it in like that. Fill a wash basin with about an inch of water. Put your hand over the jug and flip it over into the water. Here, you can do that. No. Okay. And you want to cover this up so the water doesn't fill up. Here. Blow in until you run out of breath. And flip it back over with your hand over the bottom of the jug 
and measure how many cups you have left in the jug and subtract that from 16. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Almost there and stop. Okay. So that's four cups. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Stop. Oh, is that about one cup left in there? I don't know. Well, we have well, enough room left? Not in there, not in the picture. Yeah. And that's about two cups. Okay, so. Mm. I had ten cups. <laughs> now you want to clean the tube off with alcohol. That way it's clean there's no germs on it. But also, to find out how many cups you blew in, make a chart that has 16 minus the number of cups that was left in the jug. So it'd be 16 minus 10 equals All hands stay. Okay. Okay. Well. You blew out a lot. Four cups. Yeah. And then that's two cups. But there were six cups left. Cool. Okay. So subtract that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sixteen mm. minus six. Well, ten. You blew out six cups of air, and I blew out ten cups of air. That's four cups difference. It's probably because I'm smaller and I have smaller lungs. Well, that makes sense because I'm bigger and I have bigger lungs. Make a lung capacity machine at home. Then use it to answer some questions you might have. Like, do people who exercise hold more air in their lungs? When you find some answers to your questions, write them down and mail them or email them to Zoom. Lisa and Alice from Phoenix, Arizona, emailed us this game that they call Never in the Olympics. In this race, you sit on the floor with your legs straight out in front of you and try to walk on your behind. You can't use your hands or feet in any way to push yourself forward. Here's a hint. Try moving one side of your behind and then the other. Guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Right, feet behind the line? Yep. And then when you get over there, you only need your feet to cross and then turn around. Okay. On the mark. Get set. On the mark. On your mark, get set, go. You can't use your feet to push you, just scooch on your arm. They're doing good, they're right in the same. You guys look so funny. Go Caroline! Go Zoe! Go Caroline! Almost there, Caroline. Caroline is almost there too. Come on Zoe, just turn your butt around now. Come on, Caroline, you're doing good. Almost there. Scooch, scooch, scooch. Good job, Caroline. Zoe, you're almost halfway there. Zoe, don't use your feet to push you. Okay, come on, Caroline. Just use your butt. Come on, Caroline, almost here. Right. <laughs> doing good. <laughs> don't give up. Okay, now Jessica's starting. Come on, Caroline. Don't be a little behind. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> come on, Caroline. <laughs> Don't use your feet to push you. You can... Okay. <laughs> oh, come on, Karen, you got him. Now Ray is starting. Don't use your feet to push away. Go, Ray. Go, Jack. Just use your butt. Ray, Ray, try to lift your feet off the ground. Okay. Go like, oh, um, up. <laughs> oh, that's good, Ray. That's not serious. <laughs> Ray, 
he's not really moving at all. <laughs> Come on, Jess, you're doing great. <laughs> Jessica, turn around at the one. <laughs> just, just try to make a bigger thing with it, like. Oh. <laughs> you guys, a way that you won't use your feet is if you like keep them up. Maybe I can put. Okay, never mind. Go, 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 go. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. Ray is only a little behind Jessica. Jessica, Jessica, get to land. Thank you, Sarah. Come on, come on. Okay. Oh, yes, yay. The green team won. The pink team is really close, though. Nice job. Nice job, Ray. Nice job, Ray. You guys did good. Check it out. We can't do it on our own. We need you to make it known. That everything you see right here can only be on Zoom because of every one of you. Who? You. Feed us. A recipe. Teach us. Biology. How to jump. Show the trick. A riddle or some poetry. So if you want to see it coming out of your TV, type, type it, it up, write it down, and ship it off to Zoom. How? Email. Send it to Zoom. Or Gmail. Cause you call the Zoom. If you got a video, give it up. We'll put it on the show. A stupid thing is Submissions become the property of Zoom and will be eligible for inclusion in all Zoom media. This means that we can share your ideas with other Zoomers on TV, the web, and print materials, and in other Zoom ways. So, send it to Zoom. Provided by the National Science Foundation, America's investment in the future, and the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, and by contributions to your PBS station from viewers like you. Thanks! A production of WGBH Boston.